Climate change is real and Jamaica has suffered huge economic losses each year as a result of its impacts on lives, livelihood and infrastructure. Climate smart decisions and actions are important to protect livelihood and ensure food security. A two-day symposium was held recently to raise awareness of the benefits of a climate smart approach to agriculture. Knowledge sharing, networking and promoting climate smart investments formed the basis of the second JA REACH 2 Climate Smart Agriculture Symposium. The USAID funded Jamaica Rural Economy and Ecosystems Adapting to Climate Change 2 or JA REACH 2 project co-hosted the symposium with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries at the Jamaica Pegasus on September 13 to 14, 2016 in partnership with other stakeholders. It was held under the theme Growing Agriculture and Incomes in the Face of Climate Change. First staged in 2015, the symposium presented the opportunity to attract climate smart agriculture investments and technical assistance to the sector and build partnerships through networking. Jamaica was able to share experiences with the rest of the region and highlight local and international trends in climate smart agriculture. Representatives from academia, financial institutions, practitioners in the field, technical experts, farmers and other agribusiness and value chain actors participated in the dialogue to chart the way forward in this area. Jamaica has joined global efforts in mitigating climate change, leveraging this potential for partnership and funding under the COP21 agreement, known also as the 2015 Paris Climate Conference. This will assist in integrating climate risks considerations in the agriculture sector and climate smart agriculture practices at the policy, planning and program levels. All the countries in the world put out what they call their intended national determined contribution, sounds elaborate, their INDCs. And all it really was, was just saying what climate actions are they going to take to reduce emissions? Jamaica put out their INDC as well. And, and it said, with these actions, we are going to reduce emissions by 7.8% by 2030. That's Jamaica's commitment under the Paris Agreement. And the only way to learn to live with climate change is to adapt. And clearly, the adaptation options are many. Diversification of the agricultural practices, irrigation and drought management, research into crop varieties, early warning systems, better technologies, lending and insurance mechanisms for farmers, Mitigation is a must, that adaptation is the answer, and that policy is to, needs to become practice. According to Anne Mottet, Livestock and Policy Officer, Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO of the United Nations, the global contribution of livestock production to greenhouse gas is 7.1 gigatons. There's a tool, however, that can assist in realizing a 30% reduction in this amount, simply by assessing and utilizing more efficient feeding strategies manure management, among others. FAO has developed uh, GLEAM, the Global Livestock Environmental Assessment Model, um, which is a spatially explicit and biophysical model uh, that aims to support the design of uh, intervention scenarios uh, for adaptation and mitigation in livestock. And an important fact is that this can be achieved while maintaining or even improving uh, production. Fires caused from climate-related hazards, such as extended drought conditions, can be managed using early warning systems such as the keach Bryam Drought Index, which essentially looks at the moisture deficiency in soil and drying potential of grass and shrubs in building fuel, which exacerbates conditions for fire. The management system using climate data such as seasonal rainfall forecasts affords producers and other stakeholders the opportunity to protect the sector and preserve income. The symposium also explored climate innovations, products and services that can significantly improve climate risk management decisions and protect the gains of Jamaica's agricultural sector. Financial institutions are buying into the idea of lending support to climate smart agriculture practices as they now fully understand the reach it has in sustaining livelihoods. A consortium of uh, um, different partners came together, including ourselves, um, GK Insurance, to, to come up with a solution as to how is it that we can improve um, distributing you know, insurance products for our customers. So, what came up? 
Well, a product which some of us might now have heard of called livelihood protection policy. And what is it? What does it do? Well, it protects against severe weather events. And currently the product is designed specifically for heavy rainfall and extreme wind speeds. And we're currently in that mode in developing a product that will speak to drought. A special presentation was made by GK Insurance through the Livelihood Protection Policy at the symposium. They've committed $350,000 worth of insurance to be given to different farmers um, who will benefit through the JA REACH project under this program. And the first beneficiary, we're very pleased to say, will be Garvey Maceo High School. We have been in a relationship with JA REACH and it has been a very good one, a very profitable one, and we have been able to move our agriculture from a drought-stricken area to an area that is now irrigated by drip, and we are also practicing all the climate-smart agriculture that is being spoken about. Building climate-resilient and profitable agribusinesses requires innovations in crop and livestock production, soil health and water management, and market systems. Practical climate smart adaptation strategies include developing drought-tolerant soils through the use and management of soil organic material, establishing heat stress early warning systems for livestock in Jamaica using the Thermal Heat Index (THI) is among the innovative responses to climate change conditions such as heat and drought. Also, the establishment of fodder banks for crude protein and energy in ruminants is being promoted to improve livestock production in the face of prolonged drought. In addition, creating a feed supplementation strategy using fodder pellets being developed at the Bodles Research Center is an important component of the Climate Smart Agriculture Strategy. Use of drought and disease-resistant crops, disease-free planting materials and climate-driven integrated pest management initiatives, including pest forecasting systems, are all strategies to mitigate increased risks emanating from climate change. It was a productive two days of engagement. Now, in moving from policy to practice, we clearly have to involve all stakeholders. It's not just about government. It's not just about uh, processors or financiers or just farmers on their own. It's everyone involved in the whole process, an integrated and a holistic process. So when we talk about uh, wanting to have 3% growth in the economy f coming from agriculture, it requires work, work by all stakeholders. How do we incorporate the financing in a more strategic way to help build the sector? ACI VOCA has some interesting models. Um, and I think part of what we have to start to figure out now, how do we introduce those models into the normal course of business. For example, factory is a way of post-financing for farmers who have harvested a particular crop. It's a way for them to earn the money quickly. The CSA Symposium was a catalyst for stakeholders to engage, partner, invest and innovate to grow agriculture and incomes in the face of climate change.